Hey everybody, it's Soup here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, because I am. I got the XRT back going and it's up and running, and so I can't wait to show you the footage on that. First, I need to do a video on these three Defenders. Had a couple questions about the upgrades on these, and I don't really touch on the upgrades. You guys could probably tell by my videos, very, very uninformational. Um, so I need to get better at doing that. So what I want to do is go over some of the upgrades on these Defenders show you what we got going on but first so indoor rock course we're gonna put them down there put them through a few paces see what they can see what they can't do when we get done with that we're gonna bring them back up here on the bench take the tops off of them and show you what we got going on and uh, mainly how we got these big swamp kings to fit on there so uh, enjoy the ride on the rocks and we'll be back up here in just a few Those wheels look good, man. Be a little top heavy with my big old jumbotron. <laughs> I got a jumbotron. Oh, now what are you gonna do? Fuck it, I was trying to know one thing that clipped in the video. I've made it up there once before. Which is nice. I can't <clears throat> I haven't gotten up there since.
One big cheese. Let me eat the big cheese Let's with the, that big old freaking jumbotron on top of it. truck is insane, dude. <laughs> it's a freaking little tank, man. This ought to be fun with this big old camera. Oh man, ain't nothing to it. <laughs> Shoot. Dang, man. All right, so here we are, back up on the bench. Got big cheese on the light table. Uh, we're gonna go over some of these upgrades here. I'm sure the wheels and the tires are probably the biggest question, um, but so it's gonna take me longer to explain how those got on there and what we did to trim and how we got everything to fit. So we're gonna go over just the hang-ons and uh, look at those first because there's nothing to them, you just bolt them on. So let's get the body off of this thing. Okay, here we go. Let's start at the top and then we'll work our way down. <clears throat> so first thing I got to go with up top is, well, the, the very top is this has been relocated from the rear of the truck up here on top of the transmission. Um, inside the transmission, we got the low speed crawl gears. Well, moving on from there, we're going to get to this chassis. And this is the Furytech 
grasshopper chassis, carbon fiber, very nice chassis. I love this thing. Got plenty of shock mounting holes to get you where you need to be. Um, I think the most significant thing actually to this chassis would be the weight that you knock off. This knocks off about 30 grams of weight from the truck. And would you need to save that weight? Because this Defender, when you start stacking stuff on top of it, then you also got to put some counterweight down low just to keep the daggone thing on its wheels. So, weight is going to become an issue. This rig right now, if, uh, I think it weighs like 830 grams as it sits in this current form. But I think I might have added some weight to it. It may be 850. I don't know. We'll weigh it when I get done. Um, anyway, let's not waste too much time. Let's work our way down. We got the carbon fiber chassis. Next, you're going to see the aluminum shock bodies. These are Traxxas. Um, these were just the shock bodies that I purchased and just changed everything over. Uh, let me say that the stock Traxxas shocks leaked on every one of the... I've got five of these things, and every one of them leak. All of the shocks leak. What I found was that they're overfilled. So when you get these out of the box, if they're leaking, you might want to redo the shocks because... Okay. Okay move on from the shocks we got the shock bodies I do have the brass um, spring buckets on there and I also have uh, as far as the green stuff goes and which is pretty much just basically looks I don't think performance wise these shock bodies do anything um, the steering servo mount I think that does help it stiffens up a little bit the uh, steel uh, servo arm can't see how that's gonna hurt anything the uh, green steering link bar um, which is also aluminum. I think, I don't know, the plastic one holds up pretty good. I think those are just cosmetic upgrades. I don't think they are actually performance upgrades. Um, now when we start talking about performance upgrades, then we got to start talking about underneath this thing because that's where you're going to get some weight you need down low. Um, so I got the diff covers and then we got the C blocks and we got the steering blocks. I also have steel axles and steel diff gears and now also have the let's flip this thing over also have steel drive shafts in it once i started adding all this weight i started breaking drive shaft. i broke like three of these drive shafts when i went to the steel drive shaft well then i broke the gears up front so there got steel gears so the steel gears well big weight led to steel drive shafts leads to steel gears all right and we're still talking about weight it these are the Traxxas links, um, and these are the steel ones, not the aluminum. Again, I want that weight down low. I'm trying to get as much weight down here as I can. Do I have too much weight on it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, so, <clears throat> but anyway, these steering links, there's a little mod that I would recommend you do if you go to these steel Traxxas links because, can you see? Did I turn my light tape? How does this light table get turned off? I must hit it or something. I'm trying to find a spot where I can get a focus on this link. Oh, okay. Anyway, on these rear links, when this steel is coming down through here and it gets to that eyelet, that's a chunk right there. That is a big lip. Bam. Roadblock. So what I've done is taken this hobby knife and I've just shaved it. You know, just trim. Just come in here and start shaving that down until you have a nice transition there with no catches. All the four of the lower link bars I've done that to on all of the rigs. All right, helps out a bunch. On the top link bars, I hope I'm not getting too far ahead of myself here because they're, oh, let me I can turn the wheel that way. Let me show you. There's something else going on here on these top link bars. I've got, ooh, can you see? Hope that ain't blurry. You'll notice a gap here in between here, and that's because I got these top eyelets one turn out. So when you when you lengthen this, when you lengthen these top bars, it pushes the differential, the top forward, pushes it that way. What that does is when you push the top of that diff forward, the caster blocks sit right here at this angle. They sit at an angle like this. Well, when you push the top forward, it, it lines it up. It's actually, these C blocks are straight up and down, straight up and down, which if you're angled this way and you're turning, well, you got, you're fighting the back of the wheel. Now I've got this thing pivoting on the center 
of the wheel instead of trying to rotate back. Now this is straight up and down, so this wheel turns on a perfect center line. Also, I think uh, that was just a bonus that I got out of doing this to these upper links. The main reason that I was trying for it, and I'm going to see if we can't get a view, was the angle of the uh, yokes of the pinions, right? They were hanging below, they hang below the, uh, the uh, four link bars, right? Well, when you rotate them, they actually move out of the way and above the pinion so your pinions are above your link bars now you're not going to be dragging those suckers and i mean that's it's huge all right all right body we got to move on to the body and to the trimming and chaos already has his body also let's use it and check it out all right so, never mind let's use big cheese's body it's clean and we can look at it. Okay, so here we got the body and uh, we have got some definite trimming done here. This is, this is pretty much where it's gonna matter. You're gonna have to come in and trim these fenders back, right? Let's flip it over. And uh, Traxxas did a suggesty on this, right? Oh, I hope it shows. Did they do? All right, we're gonna have to use the green body. My goodness. All right, let's see. Can we get a good view? Oh yeah, right there. That's perfect. Okay. Now, Traxxas, wonderful. You see these little lines that we have in here? All these little lines, right? So these are perfect for trimming. Knife. Yeah, get your hobby knife, and you're gonna come in here. And you're just going to make it, you're going to follow that line with the edge of your blade, right? And you're just going to make a couple passes until, you're going to keep making passes until it goes through. Just take your time, all right? What we're trying to do is get this lip right here off. You're just going to trim that lip off. Zip it. And after you get that trimmed off, um, all the way around, what you need to do on the back side is bring this and curve it in towards, you'll see the uh, where the um, running board is at, you'll see right where it curves in, right here to the fender flare, and you're just gonna bring them two together. You're just gonna zip, curve that right back in and bring it right in there. Also, you'll notice that there's this little 90 degree lip right here. You're gonna wanna take a file, when you're gonna get friends with your file, and you're just gonna start Smoothing all of this out. Smooth, smooth, smooth. That way when your tire is going to rub, you're still going to get rubs. But when it does, it's just going to glide right past and right over it. It's not much. All right. Um, let's see. <clears throat> on the back. Now on Chaos's, we only... No, this is not even Chaos's. We, that's right. This is my green one. I don't have any of the trimming done. I haven't trimmed any of the fenders on this green one. The fender flares are not trimmed. Right, because I got a body lift instead of instead of I, I've just raised the body up. I'm using this right here, right? I'm using this. Uh, this is an I beam I picked up at the hobby shop, and uh, yeah, it just stacks right on top, and you can just lift that body up. So I got a body, little body lift kit. It's not perfect. It's in the pre stages, I guess you'd call it a prototype, and I'll get it on it. Oh, that's a nice, there you go. Okay, so check this out. You can see the distance that's cut off of these flares, man. I mean, that's a pretty significant reduction in the flaring there. But right up here is this little corner piece that's got to come off, right? So what I did, hobby knife, or hobby snippers, right? I said, snip, and then came in with my file, and I just made that round. And I kind of followed the headlight bucket as a as a as a guide to make that shape. And you're just gonna bring you're just gonna bring it right up to the corner again and match that corner with this. So you're gonna end up looking like this. But you need this little edge off right here, or it's gonna grab your tire, possibly even rip your tire. Look how look how that is. Okay, so there's that one. All right, so I think we're done. 
I think we are done with this body. Uh-huh. I guess I am forgetting about a certain upgrade. And that is the uh, light kit. So we have a light kit. These also have the lights in them. Probably not going to put that on there. Um, okay, now, finally, I think this is two more steps. Two more steps, and you're going to have these tires on and working, all right? The next step here is on the bottom of the bumper. Let's flip it. Ooh, I'm going to have to get the other one out. All right, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? That is the lower part of the front bumper. You're gonna have to trim that too. You're gonna have to trim that as well. This is what it looks like after you trim. And that's what it's gonna look like before. Okay, uh, last thing here. Let's talk about tools for a second. Because you're going to need some tools. You're going to need a couple good files. You know, a good round file, good flat file. Uh, you're going to need a nice set of trimmers that's going to get things flat. Um, these files you can get from the hobby shop or like a Hobby Lobby. Not these particular files. These are Snap-on. You do not want these. You can find you a nice set of files at somewhere. Hobby shop. These also uh, you can pick up at Hobby Lobby or the Hobby Shop. I'd suggest Hobby Lobby, like seven bucks. Um, and so about this hobby knife here, you can pick these oh, up. Anyway. Speaking of tools, when it comes down to these wheels, you're going to find real quick that this thing here, it ain't going to cut it. It don't get down in there. You cannot reach. So what I did was I took a socket and I ground that socket down and then uh, to where it would fit. And then I basically glued it onto a dowel, right? Um, another thing is, is on these tools for these Traxxas trucks, they're actually like a 1.6 millimeter. And I picked this 1.6 millimeter up off of, e or not eBay, but Amazon. It took me a while to get them, ordered a couple of them. And when I got them, I was like, man, these are cheap. So anyway, cheap, right? If you can find your Allen wrench, you can do it yourself. I prefer this one over these, so keep those I love this thing, man. It fits great. It is a working tool, man. So you can just take your Allen wrench 1.6, cut the bend off of it, drill you a pilot in the end of a dowel, and make you some tools. And uh, I, these are, man, they're, they're amazing. They're excellent. So let's move on to this wheel because you're going to need to put a washer on to take up a little bit of slack and it is just one washer these are this is a three millimeter washer and this is a washer that comes with the scx trucks i recommend using these because they fit on the outside and they take up just enough right to where you can get that nut to just tighten up and there's no slop on that well you do not want this wheel slopping around on the end of your spindle wearing out the the brass of your hub and or wearing on your spindle and your brass hexes if you're running that so definitely make sure that these are tight on the hexes and that little washer right there will take care of it now if you don't have those on your scx's so you just don't have a bunch of stuff laying around on the back side these three millimeter dubro washers there are three millimeter and they actually fit right down in the back of that hub all right they slide now be careful if you're, I don't recommend putting anything on the back because, you know, you have the potential if it don't fit in there flush, you're going to have some wobbles. You don't want no wobbles. Um, and also, I know it ain't much, but it pushes that wheel further out from the hub, which you don't want to do on these Traxxas trucks. You want to keep these kind of under them. Right? So, when you're going to put these wheels on, you're going to need a tool. Um, I like I say ground a socket down now what you can do is just come in and cut this off You can just, just cut that you don't have to grind a socket down. You just need to come here and cut this back off of this tool and then Glue it onto the end of a dowel Just like that perfect Perfect size. I wish I'd realized that before I went through all the grinding of my socket anyway 
those are a little bit of the tools you're going to need those are a little bit of the tips i can give you to get these swamp kings and these mofo wheels to fit on your uh defender they're not going to be perfect they're still going to rub a little bit front and rear but they're not going to bind if you do the trimming that you need to do um, anywhere that you might see them binding if your setup is not exactly the way that my setup is you might you might be rubbing on some other areas but just make sure that when you put these on uh, that you uh, clean up as much of that stuff as you can so that you don't have any snags and uh, when you get them on there I promise you're gonna be happy they look amazing they work great and uh, you're gonna enjoy it and uh, I appreciate you all watching thank you very much leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions or comments or any tips and ideas that I can uh, that I can use because man we're learning every day and I sure do appreciate it so you guys have a great day I uh, appreciate you watching my videos and we'll see you on the next one